My name is John Friedman. I'm a professor of economics at Brown University, and I'm also the co-founder of Opportunity Insights, where we try to take insights from big data to learn how we can increase upward mobility in the United States and bring the promise to all kids that no matter your background, you have a shot at success in America. We use big data in lots of different ways. One way that we use big data is by seeing how upward mobility varies across the country. Turns out that you talk about Denmark and Sweden as paragons of high mobility cultures, where we have lots of places that are just like Denmark and Sweden in our country. We don't have to look overseas to find examples of what works. In every single city, there are pockets of very high mobility neighborhoods, but there are also pockets of very low mobility neighborhoods. And the challenge is using these data to first identify those neighborhoods, but then learn what's going right in the good ones so we can improve the bad ones and also help people make informed choices so that when they move with kids, make it both possible and affordable for them to live in high opportunity neighborhoods. There are a number of policy implications of our work. One policy implication is that it is relatively affordable to help people live in high mobility neighborhoods. You might think that living in a high mobility neighborhood requires living in the most expensive part of town, but that's not the case. There are often neighborhoods which are both affordable and provide a very good pathway for kids. We call these opportunity bargains. There are opportunity bargains in every city in the country. And what we found is with a few small supports, you can make it really a feasible choice for people to live in those neighborhoods, which can put their kids on a much better pathway. Of course, we're not gonna move everyone to a better neighborhood. And so we need to find ways to improve upward mobility in those neighborhoods as we see them. And the two key inputs we found are education and community connectedness. Both of those things need to work together in order to provide kids a pathway towards uh, decent life outcomes, whether those be better jobs, more stable families, or not being in prison. For us, the challenge is always taking the research that we're doing at a more abstract level and then connecting that with the practical policy considerations that uh, housing authorities, investors, uh, school managers, and community groups face every day uh, in their own cities. That's why when we implement policies, we always partner with local groups because they know the local contours and they're gonna be the ones who really know what's best for their communities. That's especially true when the data suggests that what one community needs to support upward mobility may be very different from what another community needs. That's why I find it so helpful to come to conferences like this to talk with people who are from a different perspective engaging with these issues on the ground every day. If we can't find ways to harness the individual efforts of all these talented investment managers who are thinking about these issues in their communities every day, we're never going to find a way to scale these solutions to make housing affordable and housing mobility to opportunity a reality in this country.